Well, it's uh, okay. Is it today? Wednesday. Cigarette went out. I dumped on Sunday. <laughs> I'll watch Finn Painter's video of him going to get his coffee in the snow. And, um, yeah, I shoveled the end of the driveway so I could get out and cover the car. And I drove to the grocery store downtown to get ice cream. Got a gallon of cookies and cream ice cream. Got to un uncover the pickup today and go down the shop. I've been working on that snow blower. Of course, I procrastinated. Now I can't get it running. It won't. It'll fire, but it won't. You know, run, run. So yeah, I got a phone call this morning from the city of Eau Claire, the inspections department or some crap and somebody called and inquired about my business and now I need to get a conditional use permit so I'm pretty pissed about that I mean yeah you know I guess legally it's something I need but god it's money I don't freaking have you know freaking ridiculous so yeah we got a good amount of snow I've had the, I mean the, you can see the hood of the blazer, that's the way the pickup was, but I've had the pickup plugged in now for, since uh, Sunday night, when I got back from the ice cream, I was like, oh, I better plug this in. So, you got to show a little path and uh, start this bad boy up, so. I'll be back. I didn't even notice this before I left the house. <laughs> it is full of ice cold. Some of the stuff's been falling off. So that's a big chunk up there. Well, this is a snowblower I'm working with. Uh, Craftsman, five horse. Um. Got a new plug, uh, new belt, so, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know how to do these belt things, but they seem like they're, they're going to stay on, so, um, pulled the cover off, it wasn't last night, but the night before, Sprayed some crap in there. Spray cleaner, some WD-40, because that's all I got. Uh, it's been sitting. I just put the little screw, there's like a little valve on the bottom there. Drained all that out. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna hit the button and try and fire it up, see what she does. Which way that the choke thing? Okay. Where can I set you guys down?
See, this is somehow well, it doesn't seem like she's working properly. That's enough of that, I guess. So I don't know. Okay. So I don't know what else to do. If I should just pull the whole carburetor off and just spray it down. Yeah, and the brake parts cleaner. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now, I guess. Uh, talk to you later. Alright, well, I bought a little bit of start, bought some starting fluid at Farm Fleet. Uh, spray a little bit in there. And let's try and start it again. Holy shit. Yeah, a little too much in there.
dive in fuel. My next step is to take the wall off and see if the wall stick there or something. That's a good sign. At least I got it running. Oh, for a couple seconds. Huh. Actually, I'm going to see if I can pull start it. Just for shits and giggles. Thing. So I guess I'll do that, take the bowl off and oh, how do you get the bowl off? Let's just be the not on the bottom, I know. Yeah, I'll be back. Well I took the carb the bowl off, cleaned it off, clean the inside. Had a little bit of dirt in it, not much at all. A little bit of yellow film. But, uh, otherwise it looked pretty good. Sprayed it down real good with the brake cleaner and WD-40 and wiped it off. So uh, I just tried starting it without putting any starting fluid in it and it won't start. So uh, we'll try it again with the...
sounds like it's gonna run nice when it does run. Just take the carburetor off and uh, put it in a thing of uh, black or thinner. So, I guess we'll just leave it in there overnight and maybe I'll fuck with it more tonight after or tonight before I go to work. Jess has darts tonight, I think. So, we'll probably come here after she leaves for darts. So, alright, well, that's it for today. Everybody have a good one.